Alright guys, today's video I've got a new little device here. This is an HTC Droid Incredible. So it's an older Android device. It has um, gingerbread on it. So let me just show you guys really quick. It's on Android version 4.3.2. And what I'm going to show you guys today is how to enter HBoot and then from HBoot how to enter uh, stock Android recovery. Or if you had a custom recovery in, this would also be how to enter you know, Clockwork Mod Recovery or Torp Recovery, whatever it is, if you have those installed. We'll get into that kind of stuff and rooting this device later. But right now, I'm just going to give you guys a basic how to enter uh, HBoot and how to get into stock recovery. We'll do a uh, factory reset while we're in there also. So what you're going to do, what I've always found works to get to HBoot, is actually just pull the battery. It seems to work the best. Um, if you just power off and try to do the steps, sometimes it doesn't function right for me. So go ahead and pull your battery out, stick your battery back in, I'm going to leave the cover off for this. And then your volume down right here, hold volume down, and then hold power. And there we go, that is 8 booch mode. Let me see if I can show it to you guys. Okay, so here you go, this is H boot. Um, so what I guys want to show you guys is that right now, mine says relocked. Normally, in HBoot mode, your that's that's your uh, bootloader basically will say locked uh, right there in pink. Um, the other things you guys want to kind of pay attention to is the HBoot version, which I'm on. The newest version is 1.07, and this little bar on the side. If you have an update on the side, this little blue bar. It will, on your SD card, it'll actually, if there's an update file on your SD card, it'll actually search for that, check it, and then ask if you want to install it. Um, I have an update on it because I just installed this newest operating system on my card, so I left that on there. That's why it did that scan, and then it's doing this uh, check right here. Um, so, you may see that, you may not, depending on what you have on your phone. Um, and then, once it's finished doing whatever scan it's doing, it's going to ask if you want to go ahead and update. So I'm going to go volume down, and it will not. It'll not start the update that way. Then ask me if I want to reboot, and I'm going to say volume down again. And you're going to come to this menu right here. This is your standard H boot menu, and you can enter fast boot mode. You can go to recovery, clear storage, sim lock. Not sure how that works. You can do a factory reset. Um, but what I'm going to show you guys how to do is how to select this stuff and then how to get into that recovery mode right there in green. So to select you do volume up and down on the side. So we're going to highlight it. So we're in recovery and then that is your um, you know scrolling. And then to select it you're going to push power on the top of your phone and it's going to select recovery. So let me show you guys how to get into this recovery. Um, it says HTC here and it's going to boot up and it's going to go to um, this recovery symbol which I'll show you right right there that's the recovery symbol you're going to see and then this one um, and it's like okay now what do you do how do you get into recovery so what you're going to do from here is you're going to hold both volume up and down and power and kind of press them all three at the same time and voila that is going to get you into standard um, Android re system recovery from here you can scroll with the volume up and down see it scrolling and you can do any of these options uh, so you can apply an update from the SD card if you have that update on there you can reboot system or you can do a uh, wipe data factor reset and wipe cache partition so I'm just going to show you this we're going to go ahead and wipe uh, data factory reset this will erase any apps and return this device back to factory stock um, if you're running the stock Android system, if you have a ROM, it's just going to return that ROM back to factory stock. But you wouldn't even have this recovery system if you had a ROM on it. So let's go ahead and uh, push this and then scroll down to yes, delete all user data, so all your apps, passwords, everything, and hit enter. And right down there, it tells you what it's doing. Um, it doesn't normally take too long to run. This is an older device, so it might take a little longer than I thought. But uh, so let this thing run, and we'll go to the next step. Okay, so that just finished. So then we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and wipe cache partition. Um, you can wipe this at any time. It doesn't actually what it wipes out is kind of like a what do you almost like a ROM? You can almost say um, like you have RAM on your computer, I should say. Um, 
which stores things kind of there so they're easy to access. That's kind of what cache does. So if you wipe out cache, it, it, it repopulates every time you reboot the phone, so it's not a huge deal. But I'm just going to go ahead and do that also. If you're if you're ever wiping data, go ahead and also do this this step. So this should be really quick. It shouldn't take long to run. Right down there, formatting cache, and then uh, wiping cache. Pretty much almost done here, and it's done. So then we're just going to highlight it on reboot system now and reboot. So there you go, guys. That is how to get into HBoot. Look at some of the important information on there. And then also how to go ahead and factory reset your device in recovery and how to enter recovery. And all this is on the HTC Droid Incredible. Hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, very informative. Also give this thing plenty of time to um, boot up because you wiped everything out. It takes a little longer to load up and everything to get, get functioning for you correctly. So that's it. Hope you guys like it. Um, I'm going to be doing a ton more videos on the HTC uh, Droid Incredible. So stay tuned for that. As always, check me out right up here at RoodJunkie.com. Things up there changing daily. Constantly adding great information up there. Follow me over here on Facebook or Twitter. And we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.